Okay, back with uh, another third stream tonight. I uh, took my little break that I needed, got things reset up again. And uh, going to... Um, well, first, let's go over to the desktop so I won't forget. Uh, I'm done playing around with that... Uh, what is that file? Let's see. Well, I can open it up. Okay, N68CF. N. There it is. Oh, I can order them that way and they'll be next to each other. Okay, N68CF. That's it. Now that, uh, I'm going to delete those off of there because uh, hit delete on the keyboard and nothing seems to be happening. Sometimes that happens and it seems to happen on uh, flash drives and stuff. You see, it did nothing happen. Okay, so I hit uh, click delete on there and then it worked. <clears throat> but that's the Bane uh, 9, which I thought I would be installing. What, oh, it's in the wrong order now. I was like, what happened? Okay, which uh, I thought I might be installing on something, but I may not now. I don't know. We'll see. <coughs> but uh, I had it already. So I'm going to safely remove I don't know why it's doing that maybe Crusader wasn't completely shut down yet but I think it's too late because see it's already unmounted it'll probably be alright that's happened before but uh, now I've got the other one the one with Fedora 27 my my, my key mic stand seems to be not staying in its spot that holds it good uh, Fedora 27 I have it uh, plugged in over here I moved from the camera since I st stood the box up you didn't see nothing but the top of the box so I just put that camera over here behind me to go over here and show something else but that's the other USB sticks plugged in the back with Fedora 27 that's what I'm going to install uh, Fedora 27 reinstall it on here but it'll you know it'll be all all the right firmware and everything by the time it's done uh, for this uh, uh, you know 8 core with 8 gig of RAM and everything and, and the AS drive motherboard um, and of course that's my laptop with my preview and uh, <clears throat> well, for, before I start all that, I thought I would do. Uh, let's just do this. Let's see, I've got to get the right. Grab this wireless keyboard. Okay. And the mouse. And that way I can. I'm first. Okay, let's do this. Let's do a speed test. Just like it is. Uh, and I won't, you know, last time I did one on it tonight, I was doing it with remote desktops so I could show it good. But the main thing is, uh, well, of course, I didn't have a camera pointed at it or anything. But the main thing is that uh, <clears throat> I guess I, I might have clicked it too soon. I didn't ever see, I, I'm not used to it loading slow because of all those ads. Uh, let's see I'll give it a chance it might still work a lot of times when they load when the speed test loads that slow it's not gonna it's gonna fail okay so it's saying no it's gonna be more than that I thought it's fixing to be 48 now it's gonna be 62 and that's on the uh, here in that router which goes through the TP link then to the D link and then to the modem so yeah okay well it ended up saying it's 65 so uh, just you, you can uh, I can anticipate what it's going to end up being by that little speedometer normally but I think it's not working it's not res not playing very well the little graphic isn't because of all this extra crap that's on here it makes me want to just go ahead and st I don't know why I haven't installed adblock I guess I never think about it at the right time now um, I think I'll go back to my preview page just to get out of there. I could just 
let's just do that go back to my preview page and I'm going to unplug that cable that's on it and plug in my uh, let's go ahead and switch mics while I do it so I can still talk Okay, now it's okay, both, of, both them. of them. Okay, now we're on the wireless, and it should be able to just. Uh, did that reload, or did it just? I'm not sure what just happened. Yeah, yeah it did. It was up to date. <clears throat> okay, now move this mic. If I can get up here and do things, <clears throat> I wanted to use that mic, you know, for the majority of the time here, but. Uh, now this one, oh, I haven't got the. I always put a piece of tape around this to keep from breaking the. Uh, it's so easy to break these clips, you know, that hold them in because they don't have these. Don't have any protectors on them. I've got. Uh, that's why I stick my tape. I've got uh, a few like that. Let's see. Yeah, if I keep spinning it. Now this one. It's been, it, it had a protector on it, but the protector wasn't worth anything. <laughs> it didn't go up far enough and it got broke. And uh, the other end of this, I've had to re put a new c connector on it because it, the wiring broke. It's, that one's getting ready to do that. Okay, now let's plug that in. Oh, that one's been, no, it hasn't been redone, I don't think. But I've only got, I've got one more. I had like a pack of 12 of them and I've got, or 10, or, well, I don't remember how many I have, but surely I didn't put on uh, that many. I don't remember putting on but a couple, two or three. Anyway, I need to redo several now. And uh, I haven't done it one in a long time. I've just been kind of getting around it by using other cables. But, uh, or leave, well, leaving, I've got a couple I leave like that, and there's only certain machines I'll even stay in. But if I twist this around much, this laptop, it'll unhook. I mean, it'll yeah, it'll pull out just enough to lose your internet connection. So let's see if it uh, reconnected. I don't even know if it's got the wrong mouse. I don't even know if it noticed that uh, I did that. Uh, just reload this and see if it works. Either that or it connected so fast I didn't notice. Reconnected. I think it did. It's working. So uh, very good. Sometimes it does. Now see that that's the thing that uh, 10.106. Well, that's the same uh, same router then. Let's do a speed test now. Now that's the red cable, the one that every time I plugged it into anything on that machine, it wouldn't uh, it wouldn't work. I'm starting to wonder if there was something going on, like with the router not not renewing the IP addresses or something. But it did it so quick, I never even got a chance to see it. <clears throat> so uh, yeah, it takes this page forever to load. The speed test page, slowest page on the internet. I'll have to start. If I can, this one I remember its uh, IP address because I've used it for years. But I I have ad blockers on all of my other browsers, and I didn't know it had so many ads on it. I don't remember clicking test. I guess I did. It's doing it. <clears throat> so. Uh, Fifty-three to oh five this time. It's not uncommon for to, for them to change that much, even if I was on the same router. But see, that was ten dot one oh six. So um, this time, instead of going back, 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 I'll use my history and go to where I want to be. 
but that was 54 or something, and, and 10.106 is the IP address, that's what I was trying to remember here, 10.106, I want to see, if it's on the same router, I guess it would just, yeah, it would just keep giving it the same IP no matter which cable I was plugged into, that's what I'm thinking, so I'm thinking I'm just going to plug this in just in case it would help, so I know that it works, See, this one's got to where it doesn't want to stay out enough to do any clipping. There we go. Okay, now, uh, I'm going to turn this box straight. Plug this back in. This is going over which way? Let's see. The other laptop that I usually have here, it it stays in it pretty good. It comes all the way around here and plugs in, and I guess just the way it's setting here, it's... Uh, <clears throat> had, I've gotten by with it for a long, long time, a couple of years probably. Okay, now connection established. And you can see, you can see me moving. You can see my preview working there. So let's see what our IP is now. 10.106. So that's the same router. I didn't realize those cables were in that same router, which is the TP-Link. Yeah, 10. Dot is the TP-Link. Okay. So let me put this keyboard back up here. I'm talking to the S and fifty eight because anytime it's in front of me I have to talk to it, <laughs> even if it's not turned on. I'm just trained that way. The instant I pulled it up there I started making sure I was at the right distance and talking to it. But I'm fixing to want to use it anyway, so Okay. Now that's just I just don't know how things are gonna be affected when I do the install, but uh, I kind of just felt like I just had a feeling that might be better for me than uh, not having it plugged in. Uh, so, <clears throat> let me see. Okay, I've got this. Um, the, the, the Fedora 27 is on that uh, USB stick stuck in the back of the machine. Now, when I turn on the machine, um, first I'm gonna get, I'll go ahead and get on the tablet and switch back to the SM58 for... Okay, good. All right, now, let's just make sure that that's what, everything's working right. I'll go ahead and switch to the tablet too. We don't have my preview playing, so I'll know. And uh, <clears throat> then once I know I'm in good shape, we'll start that install. And uh, let's see. I, I forget when I when I hear myself talk, it throws me off, and I don't. I go blank. I don't know what else to say. And then if I'm not talking, I can't do a sound check. <laughs> okay, so oh, now I have to switch. <coughs> We should be good. KVM is switched. Now I'm ready to boot up. Okay, I'm getting tired. So I don't know why I'm. I, I'm getting. I don't know. I, I said in my head that this is what I wanted to do, so I just kept going. But I'm noticing more and more that I'm getting tired. <laughs> if this was a really, really long, well, it could turn out to be a long process, but normally it's not a really long process. I don't guess I need, I was thinking, should I go into BIOS? I don't think I need in there this time. Unless it doesn't boot to the USB stick, then I'd have to. And I took out mom's hard drive. So catch that before it goes into the test mode. It always defaults to the test mode. <coughs> and, uh, 
I can put how can I do that that's actually what I wanted to do well if I don't have a fast Ethernet connection I can't oh crap that was one of the main reasons I wanted to have a fast Ethernet connection so that I could uh, so that I could uh, do a remote desktop during this install and show it real nice and pretty you know I did the last one that way though so uh, let's see since it's a live operating system I can just plug in my stick my, my SD card that has team gear portable on it plug it in there and uh, r open it up run it actually I think I have to copy it over to the machine to get it to run right but and, but it, anyway I did it last time worked out okay and I was planning on doing it again but I guess that uh, I kept thinking that I never did remember that was actually that's the, really the main reason uh, I've got some sort of error what is this Dracoop freed you dev okay, config open null read only failed read only failed let's just wait a minute uh, I think that's a failure that's not going to recover sometimes those, that USB stick it does stuff like that and then the next time it's okay next time you boot it I guess I could uh, or when I get it out it's gonna be a live system I'll try it when I get in there I'll do a speed test and stuff before I start to install <clears throat> it's not just to install only <clears throat> but there's something wrong there Last time I, uh, I think the last time I did that, and then I, I took it out, and plugged it into the front. I don't know that I need to, but plugged it into the front, and then it worked. I don't think it's gonna work. I'm just hard shut it down. Let's see if it does that again. <coughs> F6 Insta Flash, F11 for boot menu. Oh, that's right. That's what you can do instead of going into BIOS. You can hit F11 and then select the flash drive. I forgot about that. So if it doesn't go straight now, okay. If it doesn't go straight to your, your flash drive or, or whatever you have you're trying to boot to, then you can hit F11 and then select it. I don't think there wasn't anything wrong with it. I'm going to wait now. There wasn't anything wrong with the USB stick. I used it to install. That doesn't mean it couldn't have got damaged necessarily, but uh, now it's taking a long time with a funny looking whitish green, whitish black screen. I guess it looks kind of gray. Let's plug it in that extra network card. Uh, did something here. And plug it in the cable to the other network card. I don't see really why it would. But I hit. I started hitting the up and down arrow keys, and now it went to a black blinking cursor. Oh, same exact error. Oh, now, now it's getting, went by those. A couple of I.O. Uh, the, <coughs> you very often get a couple of I.O. errors. Sometimes you get like 10 of them and then it still works. It's got a couple, two, looks like two. It says unable to read RDB block O. Oh. Oh, that, uh, no, that's not the one that I did that on. That was the Debane one. Remember how I, when I unmounted it and it gave errors and then it never would mount the Windows part, little Windows partition with the portable apps again. I'll just hang on. Yeah, it's giving a bunch of them now. I mean, it's possible that my 
USB is actually messed up. I think it's uh, not going to work. Yeah, that's too many errors. Okay, so uh, hard to shut it down and take it out of there. I'm gonna go. Uh, it may just be all it needs. Go. I'll go ahead and go into BIOS and look around and make sure everything looks okay. I did take uh, that other hard drive out of there. And then uh, try the USB again. I'll either, I guess I can try it in a different port. Sometimes, even though there's nothing wrong with your USB ports, you know, you can just switch ports. Sometimes everything will be fine. Or maybe it's just make you think it that did something, you know. But I swear, it, I've done it lots of times over the years. Okay, that all looks the same. Oh, I didn't really pay attention. Okay, that's not where the hard drive is anyway. USB configuration. Make sure there's not anything went wonky, nothing wonky in there. Okay, SATA CD. Let's make the CD be on top though, like I had it before. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, boot up to the hard drive once just to make sure. I I think I'll put it in the front this time simply because I can see the front <laughs> from here. Uh, yeah, I can pull it my way a little bit, and I can plug it in there without having to get up. That's why I had it turned a whole lot sideways so I could get to the back. But it's actually easier to get to the front the way it's setting. Okay, I'm just gonna let it boot normally first. I won't even log in. I'll just uh, shut it down. Go ahead and watch the air, the. Uh, well, I could log in just to see if anything has changed in the way that network card is acting, but I don't think so. I forget what happened last time. Did I ever get it to go online in this one? In this, uh, the one that's on the hard drive, 427. Can't remember. I remember the last time it uh, booted it up and. <coughs> It wasn't working, and I remember messing with it, trying to get it to work. I remember I thought, well, let's try, since for door 14, it worked on the uh, second NIC, uh, and I noticed that IPv6 was not turned on. I went ahead and, uh, yeah, see, it's not going to work. It's, uh, well, you can't see. Oh, yeah, well, you can't see it, I'm sure, but. Reload my preview so I get an idea of what you are seeing. Uh, yeah, okay. The camera's at the monitor. That's the only way I can do it right now. And uh, <coughs> it's just sitting there like it's been doing, trying to connect and can't. You can't. Yeah, it's too little for you to see anyway. But it's it sits there and spins. Two little green dots and a spinning thing going around it. So uh, it's not gonna be able to connect. So, now I'm going to shut it down and try it again. I guess I could have stuck that uh, USB stick in there and checked it. So I'll just put it in the front, and then if that doesn't work right, then it's still, I guess it's still going to hang there for a while trying to shut down the firewall. What's that? The... I think the last time I shut it down, it did. Uh, that was from that that operating system. I think it shut down real quick, like it was supposed to. No, I think it might have done that in Fedora 14. Now I can't even remember. So, I'm gonna hard shut it down because I'm not I'm not worried about this operating system. I'm trying to reformat it. Yeah, once you think, think, oh, it won't take 20 minutes, and then everything goes wrong, and it takes hours. <laughs> I mean, this is not very, again, everything I do with this project here, crazy things happen. This is, 
These used to be sticks have been real dependable for years, and they just don't do that hardly ever. Okay. But I have noticed uh, lately, and one time it'll read perfect, next time it'll not read right, that particular stick. And uh, I don't really know any reason why it would. Uh, I'm going to hit F11 just to make sure I get the boot to it. Yeah, it wasn't going to do it. Now, see, it's, it's shown twice, and that's because of that Windows partition. I don't remember if it's the bottom one or the top one of the two. The, there's CDs on the top, then the hard drive, and then USB scan disk, USB scan disk. One of those is the, the one that boots, and the other one doesn't. It won't work, won't do anything. The other one would be, would be that little Windows partition. That might be it right there. We'll see. No, nope, that was right. Okay. Of course, I could use that checking thing, but it takes, well, it might not be so slow now, but it used to. That On a CD, it would take 20, 30 minutes to run. Yeah, on a USB, it would be faster. Looks like it's going to do the same thing again. There's a whole bunch of them. But let's see what it did. It went on through there. Now it's see. Now it's okay. You know that could be that that those errors are on that. Uh, I just now realized those errors that I've always seen. I keep forgetting. I have that read only. That's what it says. Read only. It has that uh, little tiny 64 megabyte Windows partition that I can't delete because I don't want it. But I can't delete it. It won't let me log in. That's what all that is, and see, <clears throat> well, that's not the one that got messed up. It's the Debain one. It'll be, it'll fix itself, even if you get it to where it won't read or anything. Uh, I even uh, let's see, what did I do? I got into like Pardon Magic and all different apps, and I did, uh, and it, and I tried to force delete it, and it just put itself back on there. <laughs> I guess it didn't. The delete it really never deleted it, but it showed that it was deleted. Okay, so, yeah, before I go do anything else, oh, I don't have internet. <laughs> Can't do that. Uh, I was going to say, I was going to run a speed test. But I'm not going to run a speed test without internet. Oh, I've got internet. Yeah, because one's connected and one's not, because i got them both hooked up. So, 0.120. Oh, that means 0 0.120 is a D-link. Wait, I have the red one connected to the onboard. Oh. Right, but the blue one's connected. Right, 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 right. Okay, so the red one's not connecting, as usual, the one on the onboard. And the 0 0.120 is the blue cable. I just swapped the cut cables from what I usually do. Okay. So so it's keeping on trying to connect because it's got two network cards. Uh, yeah, it's keeping on trying to connect to the uh, other one. Now that came in a lot faster, so let's see what happens. That came in like a lap, you know, it could have been that the laptop couldn't handle all those graphics. Why it was so slow. I don't think we're going to get anything. It doesn't look to me like we're going to get no 65 megabits, so it looks like we're not even going to get 5 megabits. Three twenty. Okay, so it's still slow, even though it's going through the D-Link router. On that Kingston card, there's just something wrong that it won't won't get the right speed. But it's not the cable, it's not the router. I'm, I've confirmed that now. So we do have internet. Oh, it quit uh, trying. Let's see if it has two connections now. Still only has one connection. It just quit trying. So. 
let's go ahead and do it. Go ahead and try that install the hard drive. So now I can get get to the network time server. That's the import, important stuff. I don't think I think that the whole little basic system is all on this little live deal here. Oh yeah. Oh, it is going to keep trying to connect. Let me try it because uh, I'm going to quit and, and, and start again. I wonder if I can look at the connections here. Now, now. Oh, they both say now. Well, I guess because it's trying to connect. I'm not going to do me. I started to think I just don't like that reconnect thing. It bugs me. But what I'm gonna think I'm gonna do <coughs> is to try to try the remote desktop. I may be sorry, but I'm gonna try it. If I can get the get it by feel. Okay, now I can uh, go in here and get uh, Team Viewer. Let's change that view to well, we need the extra pane, and then well, that'll probably be good enough. Now, uh, go to downloads, that'll be a good place to run it from, I think. Now this one, I don't think I'll be able to read it without, oh, not compact, list. Now I can read it. Actually, I better do them both that way. Okay, I just can't read that the way that looks. It goes right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. It just, I don't know how to explain it, but I can't read that way. there team viewer now of course it doesn't stick but at least I could I, I could find in that long list 12 11 13 yeah I never got 13 working it's got an installer but uh, oh yeah this is 64 bit I may not be able to do it the live way. I remember what, what did I last run it on? Let's try 12 and see. Let's see. I've already forgot how you do it. <coughs> Oh, you can't go to the preferences. It crashed. I went to. I was going to the preferences. To, I, I was tired of that not showing the way I wanted it, and uh, it showed me. Okay, download. Yeah. Okay. Back again. How to run Team Viewer without installation? The Tar GZ. Extract it where you want it to run. Then click on Team Viewer. And if you're having trouble with missing libs, then uh, TV setup check libs. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> now, RPM seems like the 
installer somehow gave me a problem. I can't remember now. I see 686, that's 686. Yeah, that's not the 64 bit installer. That's probably what it was. 12, what, we got some that are newer than others or something. Let's see, 76279, but they're both 12. Oh, that's I-386. Oh, I-386 isn't going to run on here. I don't think. <coughs> thought I did that, though. Did I install it? <coughs> Maybe I just went ahead and used KRFB. I think I just went ahead and installed KRFB and did it that way. So I don't think this is going to run. So 12.07629. Let's see. 7.15. Yeah, I think. Yeah, this is the newest one. I'm going to go ahead and try it. That's not going to run on me. Well, it might. I don't think... Extract 2, I guess that'll go to the other pane. Oh, you're going to ask me where you want it to extract to. Okay. All I have to do is just click on the team viewer and see if it'll run. Oh, TV setup. Yeah. Okay. Let's open terminal. That way we'll see if there's any errors. such file or directory T E A M I could have spelled it wrong can't tell come back terminal let's see Oh, wine server. No such file or directory. Okay. I'm going to try it one more time just to make sure, but I don't think I misspelled it. But if I copy and paste it, then I'll know I got it right. Yeah, okay. Now then, TV setup. Go ahead and get that one. That'll tell me what I might need. I don't think it'll make me. Uh, says you can just extract it without installation. It will be similar to your quick support on Windows. If all your next nexus necessary libs are there. Oh, then you look for them and install them manually. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, well, are we missing them or not? I don't see any list of uh, stuff to install. Oh, TV setup check libs. TV setup install interactive installation. Uh, well, I have an RPM. 
I don't really need to. If I want to install from, you know, just install it, then that's I six eighty six though. Let's see if the thirteen version thirteen has a sixty four bit. Yeah. Let's see if I can uh, open it with Dragor and install it. If not, then I'll try KRFB. That must have been. I think I must have done it with KRFB last time. Yeah, that's. Uh, I don't remember now what the last thing I ran it on was. It ran just. Sometimes you can. Some some Fedora systems I can just open it up and it run, you know. Others I can't. I guess that drag R will open up here sooner or later. Did I? Yeah, I've got a folder I don't need. Let's delete that so there won't be any more memory being used up for nothing. Did the drag R decide to crash or something? Let's open up the system monitor and see. It's there, but I don't see it. It's running. Hmm. Maybe it's just taking its time to unpack that file or something. Free space, 4.7 gigabyte. Oh, that's on that card. Okay, I was going to say. That's an awful lot. Of, yeah, on the uh, free space in the you know on the live system, one point two gigabyte. I thought four point seven was a lot for a live system. Well, darn it. Oh, oh, huh. Usually, when you're looking at a process, it'll say uh, show the window. This one doesn't say that, and it's one that I know would have a window. So, uh, that's weird. Okay. Uh, it's not coming up. I don't think I'll be able to do it. Because I don't have the, the stuff I need to do that to install from an RPM. you got to have some more stuff installed. So... Probably gonna have to kill. F well, I'll try to open up DNF Dragora. Let's try that. Cause uh, that's my next thing is to open it up in order to install uh, <coughs> but I think it's gonna be say that it's being uh, held. You know, the process is locked. Is what I'm afraid. I guess I can always reboot to fix all that. It may, have, it may be the best thing. And when it takes that long for something to open up and you're on an 8 core with 8 gig of RAM, it's probably not working right. So, uh, yeah, see now there's two instances of Dragora. So it's probably going to end up saying one's held by the other. Locked. Process is locked. <laughs> yeah. Didn't say the process is locked, but... Uh, I'm just going to get this one out of there. put it back up on the desk and I'm going to reboot so that I know everything is clean and no no weird things going on and uh, and then I will do what I finally remembered is what I think I did last time I just installed KRFB and did my uh, remote desktop with KRFB
But I don't, I, it just, oh, sleepy. I just can't think of um, why that Kingston card would be, you know, working at such a slow rate. Because, yeah, I looked, it's 100 megabit. And even if it was a 10 megabit, it ought to be getting at least 8 or 9 at the very least, you know, megabit. It should be getting 10, really. Let's see what's firewall. Okay, it doesn't matter. It's a live system. Other than maybe making that USB stick not boot again, but I don't think it'll hurt it. I've done it a bunch of times lately. So I just hard shut it down and then started it right back up. And, uh, <coughs> well, I'll, by golly, the sun's up. I said I didn't know if I'd make it until the sun came up. Well, it's 640. But I'm too darn tired. <laughs> too darn tired to do any, go out there and do any dragging things out. Oops, it didn't see the USB. I guess I better hit F11 then. Um, well, after I get KRFB on there, if it doesn't work well, then maybe I'll just call it a night and... <laughs> Um, wait until tomorrow and dig and really go ahead and dig out some another uh, net, network card so that I'll have surely another one would you know one that works another one would work right unless there's something crazy going on well I try well I try I I don't think the bio. I don't necessarily think the BIOS update now it's acting up again. I don't think the BIOS. Uh, this time I'll wait and see if it gets. Oh, it's going to be all right. Okay, maybe the last time it was just wasn't really in trouble. It was just taking too long and I didn't wait. And I, that's now that's normal. If it goes through and throws out a few on these uh, USB sticks, if it, yeah, what else does it do that on? I don't know. I have, I can't really remember if it only does it on these or if it does it. Uh, well, I know it used to do it a lot on uh, DVD and CD drives. I've always seen those kind of errors. And yeah, there's that. I don't think I had that last time. That kernel oops. I don't really remember. But there it is again. Now I don't know if we'll have any internet. Let's go ahead and make sure we got internet. Because we will need it to connect to the Fedora time server and all that kind of stuff, if nothing else. Well, and remote remote desktop. Okay, we got internet. Can't type. Couldn't type it, save my life. Okay, speedtest.net. Finding optimal optimal server. There we go. Yeah, so I guess those ads load really fast now, uh, even though I probably have still have a slow connection. Uh, so it's the machine that they're, they're, they're that. See, that's the one thing I hate about ads they use usually still flashing Java and uh, even if they're HTML5 it uses a lot of resources too so it, it'll bring, bring your machine to a halt that with everything else that makes you know the legitimate web page, parts of the web pages work you know uh, it's just too much for, for uh, any average machine 556 and uh, down and 292 up so uh, we're working on the old Kingston card that for some, I don't know if it's in bad shape or what the deal is with that. Okay, so what I want to do is go ahead and go to Dragora and uh, I don't 
want to do any updating, but since it's already searching for them, let's just have it defaults. Uh, <clears throat> there'll be a bunch of updates. I will. Uh, <coughs> let it load them and then uh, it could take a while too hopefully it won't be real bad and just install KRFB the last time I installed KRFB on this card it took forever though I remember that I did it in the, did it in the live system I think so I may be fighting a losing battle here kind of crashing and burning now I'm beginning to think this is going to take a so long that I'll be so tired I won't care whether it works or not it just didn't you know when I started to do this install a little while ago or it's been a while ago now well you know what it's not a little while ago I'm looking up there at my deal and it's uh, it's an hour and seven minutes ago no wonder so my 20 minute install is already an hour and seven minutes and I ain't even gotten started yet because of all the crazy things going on and me and of course me wanting to do a special things you know do the remote desktop and stuff yeah and I wish I could remember if Fedora actually downloads I really don't know for sure if it's downloading apps during the install or if they're just all on the uh, live media <sighs> on the, within the ISO file <sighs> So, uh, you know, if it's going to download a bunch of apps uh, to install them, then that would just be so painfully slow, especially right now since I'm tired. I wouldn't want to do it. I'm kind of thinking I don't think I'm going to have any way of knowing. It used to always tell you, these are on your CD, these are going to be downloaded. Uh, Door did, the Bane did. The Bane still tells you. You know where you're getting them from the Bane. Remember that. But yeah, see how long that's taken just to load the list of uh, available updates. Beginning to discourage, get discourage myself of, of going on with what I'm trying to do without swapping out that ne network card. I'm <clears throat> beginning to think twice about that. <clears throat> Saturday, April 28th. It's 7.48 a.m. Yeah. You uh, wouldn't think that 5 megabits would be super slow, but it, it really is when, when you're just used to 60, 65 megabits. Because isn't that what 5G is? Isn't it 5 megabits? Of course, I don't. I don't have any phone service on any phone, so I don't know how how slow, how fast or slow they they are. You know, I use my phones on the Wi-Fi. <coughs> so <coughs> if I do connect and do anything, you know, like install apps or mess around with apps or anything besides just phone, you know, just the cameras on them, uh, it's always on Wi-Fi because I don't have service on any of them. I don't use the phone much at all, the telephone. Yeah, this is even slower than I thought it would be when I, you know, when I just got in here just a second a while ago there. Here, I didn't think to try to time it or anything, but uh, I, I remember now. I, I the other day I installed KRFB just so I could have a remote desktop and I messed around and did some other stuff uh, and I, I think I did it in Fedora 27 Live I don't think it was you know it could have been on the install system over there because I just saw KRFB on it but uh, and in KRFB well it's not tiny I mean it's a few megabytes I don't remember 30 or 30 megabytes or 50 or something I think all the all everything together to make it work 
I remember sitting there going, oh, no, this is taking forever. Because it was on this slow c card. So, uh, I was going to sleep. I was like, what? It's getting dimmer. And I thought for a minute there, I thought, I was like, am I going to sleep? <laughs> And it's just still not even done loading. I thought it was done. And now it's still working at it. Eh. Sorry. I'm not going to wait any longer. It probably won't quit like that. I mean, that's just waiting for the thing to load up so that I can, you know, I hit quit. Um. Uh, I, I can't. I'm not going to start this install with it this slow. Every little thing I want to try to do. Um, and, it, and really, it's just not. I just can't stand uh, something like that. I want to make a good video of it. I mean, I've been. The last several days, I've been having to make videos with just the phone pointing at the. At the. Uh, how do you shut this thing down? With the phone point, pointing at the. Um, screen and I mean it's just you know blurry colors is all it is so I'll wait for a little bit and see if it shuts down I don't guess it actually matters but I'll wait and if it doesn't shut down I'll I'll have to just you know mash the button again but uh, yeah I'm just gonna give up for today I'm, I'm realizing I'm just it took a well I mean what could have taken 30 40 minutes it's already been an hour and now it says an hour and two minutes oh it says negative one well, how long has it been oh so it hadn't made it up to an hour yet i, I looked at it wrong yeah second so when i'm over here on my computer i can see the actual time it's 57 minutes and 40 some odd seconds over there it starts out at negative one and then counts to zero and then starts counting up it still does that i don't understand that that's on the bane but it's the same version of fedora as uh as i've got in, in you know my this machine here my fedora 23 i mean that's yeah that's the bane 8 with but it's the same version of fedora because i, I put it in standalone mode just like i actually i have it in standalone mode on here too because it was not updating as quickly as as a updates were coming out and with your web browser you really want them the instant they come out because they're usually security updates so uh, I'm just going to quit for today and uh, tomorrow before I start that install I'm going to go dig through those other computers and f see if I can find me a network card I can pull out of one of them one that I think would work you know and because uh, I don't have any more that are not in something, well, that'll be a little bit of a chore probably. But well, I'll, there's a couple that are easy to get to if I if I can just open the big garage door. But I didn't want to do that in the middle of the night and kind of cold, chilly out there, and I'm wearing shorts and a t-shirt and everything. I just didn't want to do it. Well, that and I didn't want to make noise, you know, bother everybody in the house and stuff. That was the main reason, really, to make a noise. Most of all. Because I, I probably could have, I could have found out whether or not there's any in them real quick, you know. Open the door, look, you know, turn on some lights and look. So anyway, I'm just rambling because I'm tired. Okay, uh, that's it for today then. I didn't get to start the install after all. it! All I did was just fiddle around and have trouble for an hour. <laughs> okay, well, tomorrow's another day. So I'm going to go and... Uh, come back tomorrow then unless something else happens uh, I do ha I am still waiting on Jeff to come back and get his cassette and me copy his files over for him that I when I the digitized version of his cassette uh, got a bunch of bunch of audacity files to give him let him choose what he wants out of them but uh, he keeps saying he's gonna come over and then he uh, you know he's too tired or this or that or the other so uh i don't know when i'll ever get i want to get get done with that so um so anyway that could stop me from doing this if he comes over for, at least for 
few hour or two or whatever or more. Who knows? Okay. Um, bye bye.